Going on YouTube, Clover Bros here back with another Scarlet by the team building video and today we're going to be looking at Miraidon. So Miraidon is one of the new restricted legendaries that we can use in uh, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, you know electric dragon typing is pretty much the same typing as Raging Bolt. You already know how strong that is. Now take that and add more stats, right? And that is what Miraidon is. But a little bit more than that, right? Because, you know, Raging Bolt with the priority moves, you know, with Thunderclap, but Electro Drift is just a really, really strong move. And when super effective, it, no, I don't think anything's living with that because you're getting another damage boost anyway. Um, but now what Miraidon can give you, which is something that we haven't had uh, all that much, if at all, is the idea of electric terrain, right? We've had psychic terrain, we've had grassy terrain, um, but we haven't really used the electric terrain thus far uh, in our Scarlet and Violet time, right? Just because the other terrain setters just weren't that good. Like you had Pring Kirchen, nobody was using that, right? But now we have something, right? We have Miraidon, and now because of that, the partners, the iron stuff, all of a sudden become much more playable and much more usable, right? Just like how Karidon can enable the partners and how Groudon does the same thing, now we have another Dawn that can do the same thing, right? So some of the more common partners uh, will be played with Miraidon. Uh, that were not really played before stuff like you know iron jugulus okay saw very limited play but but now all of a sudden people can use that a little bit more just because now you don't need a booster energy on this thing you can use iron jugulus without it and then all of a sudden the return of iron bundle uh you know is now in play now you don't need booster here you can put something like cover cloak or focus sash here even iron hands i said this in the um the announcement video of the format where you know for the longest time iron hands was the top three pokemon you know without an ability right nobody was using the cork drive because you know it was already busted as it is but now all of a sudden you're adding the electric train and now all of a sudden iron hands uh gets to have an attack boost okay along with something like an assault vest or a clear amulet you know, now um, Iron Hands comes back uh, a little bit better than ever. However, you do add another ground weakness. So keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, still playable. And then, of course, the Iron Valiant now will see some decent play. Okay, where's the Valiant? Yeah, there it is. Right? A lot, you know, great design. A lot of people really wanted to use this, um, but just haven't really found a way to use it. But now it is very much playable with Maridon. And you get White Guard, right? Everybody loves White Guard right now in Regulation G. Um, to deny spread moves. So now all of a sudden this becomes playable and then Iron Moth has been uh, Rising in a little bit in usage with the Marana because this thing is so strong beast 140 special attack Okay, 110 speed. That's good. All right, that speed ties the ogre ponds that also um, Outspeeds something like Mian Chao, for example, and then 110 sped, sped up is already really good a little bit more bulk than Volcarona, right? But again, you know, Fire Poison, another ground weakness, all right? That's four times weak to ground, so you're definitely going to need to Terra Grass this thing, right? But all these partners are playable, okay? And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you at least three different builds with Maridon, you know, with some of these partners, different partners, depending on the team. So this way I give you some ideas and maybe that'll help inspire you with your own team building, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our first build. Okay, so the one I really like right now is Iron Jugulus and Iron Moth. All right, we're going to pair that with Maridon here. And, you know, for a, a couple of reasons. One, Iron Jugulus gets Tailwind, okay, and it gets Snarl, right, which is really good. It gives you a speed control advantage. It forces you, not forces you, but allows you to run a little bit bulkier and a little bit slower, okay, in terms of your speed. And then at the same time, Snarl is great into Calyrex, Shadow Rider, great into Kyogre, mitigating that damage. Okay, and even the mirror matchup, right, where you're also against Maridon too, where you can Snarl that thing unless they have a Covert Cloak. Um, you know, so Snarl has great value this time around. Uh, and then Iron Moth, of course, will do a ton of damage into something like Rillaboom, right? So one way to really, you know, at least hinder Maridon a little bit is to change its terrain, right? So Rillabooms will be swapping in and out to fight you for your terrain. But then if they do that, they're going to have to take a fire attack from the Iron Moth and I don't know too many Rillabooms that can survive from this uh, from this base 140 special attack, right? And we're going to even add to that, right? Because we're going to put a Power Herb on this thing. And we're going to go for Meteor Beam, okay? Along with uh, our Fire type attack. And then, of course, Meteor Beam is great into Incineroar running around. So, you know, we're, we don't want to be taking parting shots, you know, into Maridon. So, you know, Meteor Beam is just going to one-shot that, right? So very, very good ideas here with Iron Jugulus. And Iron Moth here, right? And I kind of want to do Life Orb Maridon here, 
you know, just for a little bit more damage and then protect. So, you know, I like specs, but, you know, I also like protect, right? So what's like the middle ground? You could do something like Life Orb or you could even do something like Magnet. I think they work out very well uh, either way. There's so many items that you can play on Maridon and we'll get to them more in the other two builds. But for now, I did like Life Orb when testing. I thought this was pretty good. So then after that, you just do something like Draco Meteor. And then you can even do something like Volt Switch. Or you can even do something like Dazzling Gleam. I think either way is going to be good. And then from here, a uh, good defensive Terra would be something like Terra Fairy. You could do that. Or if you want like a little bit more Grass Resist uh, and a little bit more immunity into Moongus, for example, you can definitely also go Terra Grass over here, right? So, you know, up to you. Uh, but at the time, I was using Volt Switch because, again, if Rillaboom is going to be... You know changing my terrain i kind of want to at least get some damage off and then re-pivot out right so i went with bolt switch over here okay so again this is probably where magnet could be a little bit better but i settled with life orb um at the time and then from here i kind of want to just give myself a, a good defensive backbone and something a little bit more into trick room so i decided with incineroar uh you know the, another fire type which is something i normally don't do but i think it works out well here just because uh, you know, they're two inherently different Pokemon and then the Ogre Pond Wellspring. Give me that Fire Water Grass Core. Give me that Redirector, um, you know, that can, you know, help protect me as I set up these Meteor Beams, right? Because again, you could do like Ogre Pond Iron Moth leads and if they want to bring something like Urshifu, for example, then they're going to have to go through the Ogre Pond first before they get to the Iron Moth, right? Um, but anyway, like imagine like, you know, and let me just actually give you the set here. So like Energy Ball and then Protect. And then you can do something like Fiery Dance, right? You know, where you can keep boosting your attack. Or you can even just do something like Heat Wave and go for like dual um, spread fire damage, right? So, you know, all in all, uh, it, it, this can actually do well against Urshifu, Rillaboom, and Incineroar, right? Because you got Meter Beam for the Incin, you got Heat Wave for the Rillabooms, and then you also have Energy Ball, Terra Grass for the Urshifu, right? So Iron Moth, very useful here. Okay, and then um, something as like a little more of a pivot uh, into, you know, maybe like a levitate or a flying type because you got one, two, three Pokemon here weak to ground. You know, you have one ground immunity. Let's add one more. Let's add Bronzong, man. I was watching, not watching, but like I was, wa I looked at a team build from Atalanta and he, he did like Bronzong and Groudon. And I thought that was interesting. I thought that made a lot of sense. And I think this also makes sense here because think about it. You've got Maridon here, you know, weak to ground, weak to fairy, right? Well, Bronzong doesn't care about both of those, so it has some good synergy here. And you get something like Trick Room here, right, which is pretty good um, into, you know, just making sure you, you know, flip uh, the Tailwind Mirror, right? You know, so I think that makes sense here uh, with something like Bronzong. So Leftovers, of course, will be the set here uh, on our Bronzong. But this is what I got, right? So Miraidon enabling these guys, and then you get your defensive backbone and... You know, Bronzong, pretty good into something like Calyrex, for example. Those those teams, uh, you can sit in front of them, you know, click Iron Defense um, and then Body Press, of course. That's going to be our set here, Iron Defense, Body Press, without a doubt. Okay, but I, I do like this six uh, together. I thought it just made sense uh, when I was looking at it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just build our first one with this. So let's go ahead and uh, back here. Let's start um, rounding out the EV spreads and the rest of the movesets here. All right, so back here um, with my ride on here. So basically, a um, couple of things you can keep in mind. You know, I, I do like to go modest here, of course, and I will try and optimize my HP for, for life or recoil. So, but first my speed here. So a couple of things you can do. You can go right here, um, you know, something like this, right? Where you outspeed Landorus Incarnate so you don't take earth powers, right? And then go a little bit more bulkier. That's so, right, so you can do something like this. Uh, and then just optimize like that and then you have 168 EVs left, right? So you can just do, you know, a point here and then just dump the rest into defense like this, right? And then you have a super bulky life orb Maridon, right? A little bit slow, but you know, this is where, you know, Tailwind and even Trickum can help you out here, right? So you can play this super slow and super bulky, right? Or you can play it a little bit more offensive and say keep the HP, um, let's take away a little bit from the defense right in fact almost a lot all of it from defense let's go a little bit faster let's go 196 right the next benchmark here so this way um this is pretty good into tornado stuff you know after your own tailwind and then at the same time this outspeeds all the ogre ponds right because if i remember right if this was a jolly set this is about 178 right so 179 slash 180 will be able to outspeed those two right 
So that's the first thing I'm thinking of, right? So we'll keep it like this. Um, and then you got 80 EVs left, so that's very convenient. That'll hit us to the next bump over here. And again, if you don't know what bumps are or EV bumps, I should say, and you're trying to play competitive Pokemon and create EV spreads like this, make sure you comment in the video description below what are EV bumps. I will be able to define it for you. I will reply to you. So this way you understand how my benchmarks work uh, and how it is I created these EV spreads, right? Because there's three bumps here and I gave you the third one right now. And the other one, I showed you the second one, which is right around here. Okay, so make sure you comment and ask what are bumps. Uh, so this way you understand how I'm able to do this, right? But we'll keep it here. So this is uh, my first test uh, EV set, right? I went a little bit fast, hard hitting, and some bulk, right? So I kept it like this. Iron Jugulus, of course, Air Slash. Um, that's Air Cutter. Air Slash. Tailwind, um, Snarl, and then, of course, Protect here. And then, basically, this was my bulky Tailwind setter. So I put a Rocky Helmet over here, okay? I went Terra Steel. You know, that's pretty good against your four times Fairy Weakness. Um, and then after that, you know, just a Timid Nature. 116 is what I went with, okay? So this way I outspeed the, the Kyogres, the Timid Kyogres, so this way I can Snarl them, right? And then max HP over here, and then just a little bit of, of our bulk here. And then I just went like 108-ish, I believe. Yeah, something like this, right? So this way I can get my speed boost and then just dump the rest here in Spidef, right? So that's all I really needed um, from Iron Jugulus. Just be a bulky Tailwind setter. Iron Moth, same idea, like, look at this. They're both... This is 108, this is 110. So, you know, you have to be careful with your speed tiers. You know, just make sure. But, you know, either way, uh, I still went Timid Iron Moth. I think, again, being able to force a potential speed tie into an Ogre Pond is important, right? And then after that, you know, I just put a couple points here. Uh, and then I'll, I went 36 EVs over here, just so this way if they summon the Rillaboom, um, I can get a little bit more optimal uh, recovery from Grassy Terrain. Uh, but this is it, right? So I just did something like this. And if anything, you can even drop this a little bit. Let's go like right there. Yeah, about 124, right? And then now you have like a whole bunch more EVs left, right? So you can even put more um, into, you know, either more special attack or you can put more into bulk. I just went like just more HP, like just straight like this, right? And I think that was like, okay. So that's my Iron Moth set. Um, then over here, the Incineroar. So something like Safety Goggles is uh, still pretty good with... You know, Fake Out, Flare Blitz, uh, that's False Surrender, uh, Flare, there we go, Flare Blitz, uh, Parting Shot, okay, and then we get the, the knockoff idea, right? And again, this is also uh, up for debate. You can also put will of here, you know, just because uh, so many physical things are using Clear Amulet right now, your, your Intimidates aren't working, so one way to get around it is to go for that will of So you can definitely do that all in all, right? Or you can just keep knockoff. You know, which is pretty good into like caloric stuff, right? Or in removing key items. Um, but after that, you know, very standard instance set. I just keep going careful nature. The, this set has not not failed me even since Sword and Shield, right? Again, I'm just going to go to the bump here, right? 143, uh, one point in the attack, a little bit of defense. That was the old Zacian Sacred Sword calc, but, you know, it still works even now. And then a tiny bit of speed for the mirror. And also under Tailwind, I will be able to outspeed a timid landers incarnate so i can get off my own parting shot first right then over here ogre pond ivy cudgel um you know uh, horn leech follow me and then um spiky shield very standard set over here spiky shield there it is right and then um i went so i like to play this pretty bulky i i always do this right 252 100 to survive the single strike urshifu stuff then Adamant Nature, first bump there. And then after that, you know, just a little bit of points here in Spidef. Get a nice even number. So this way, when you terrestrialize it, uh, you get the 1.5 solid boost here. This is an even number, right? Times 1.5, you get a whole number. If this was an odd number like this, now 119 times 1.5, that's an odd number. That'll round down because you're going to get a decimal. I don't want my bulk to round down. I always want uh, my bulk to be a nice solid even number. Then just put the rest here. 139. Um, that's another good uh, benchmark. So that's pretty good there. Bronzong here. So Iron Defense, Body Press, Trickum. You can either put Gyro Ball here, you know, just so that you have steel coverage. Um, I think that's also pretty good. Or you can even just simply put Protect over here. Or, you know, either way, um, up to you how you want to play your Bronzong. If you want the steel move, go for it. Uh, you know, that's pretty good into Fluttermane. It can snipe them. All right. Otherwise, this is all right. Because look, how many Protects I got? I got one. I got two. I got three. 
I got four. You can technically get away with it. You know, you can technically do gyro ball over here, right? So might as well. Um, and then from here, um, I just went, I think I went calm nature. Yeah, calm, max HP, of course. And then after that, you know, you kind of want a little bit of bulk here, right? So I, how much did I do? You could do something like this, 152, four. So you could do this and then just dump the rest into defense, or you can do a little bit more and just go something like relax nature, right? Where you can get a little bit more out of your, your body presses, right? And just do something like this, right? So let's actually do that. So let's go to the benchmark there. I think I need a little bit more. Yeah, something like this, right? So 252, 188, 68, that's pretty good already. And you know, Terrifier is gonna be okay, you know, as a solid um, Terra here. It's not too bad, you know, Terra Ghost is a problem. Right, not terror ghost. Ghost typing is a problem. Fire typing is a problem. Um, so fire will will take care of both of those things, right? More or less. And that's it, right? This is like the first solid set. Um, the uh, I forgot the instant terror. Let's just go ghost for now. I think ghost safety goggles is still solid. Um, just be aware of Lunala. And that's pretty much it for the first one, right? So you know some very quick and general EVs, but at least for like the six, I kind of like it. So if you want to make adjustments, you know, to, you know, some of these spreads, but, you know, I do like the six, right? So what I'm going to do, I'll just show like a quick test game with it, and then we'll show you the other two builds. All right, this one is with Kyogre. So basically, uh, it's a really good Iron Jugulus game, especially because you can snarl a lot of the different things here in Air Slash, the Urshifu, for example, right? And once the Urshifu is off the board, Bronzon kind of just wins the game by just clicking body press into everything, right? And Maridon, of course has good pressure, you know, just against the Ogre anyway, right? So um, let's click things off here. So he's going to go with their Urshifu and he's going to go with Arkeladon over here. I'm going to go with Iron Jugulus and I'm going to go with Mirai down here. So I want to start things right from the get-go. So get, let's get the speed boost. I can start all the Arkeladon here, right? He goes into Indeedee, okay? He changes my turn, which is still fine, right? Electro Drift, that's still very, very good damage, all things considered. Okay, then we get the Snarl off, so now the Indeedee goes down, and then the Arkeladon is now minus one. So he's be he's going to be forced to only just click Body Presses, but this is actually Snarl Arkeladon, which is actually a little bit more annoying, okay? So um, Kyogre comes in, but again, Ice Beam, good damage, but, you know, Volt Switch, reposition ourselves. That's already a very good chunk anyway. I might have been able to kill with Electro Drip, all things considered. I'm not sure. But anyway, we missed the Ogre, unfortunate. Arkeladon minus two, okay? But in a miss for a miss, right? So he also misses the, the Draco Meteor, right? So Kyogre's been chipped, Water Spout, not going to be doing much damage. Urshifu comes back in. I get the Tailwind. So Jugulus having good value already, you know, by snarling and clicking Tailwind. Body Press, still not enough to remove the Ogre. All right, Sucker Punch, he can't click to end his own turn. I guess he forgot. All right, and now, um, you know, I can click Ivy Cudgel, boost in the rain, but again, not doing a whole lot because Arkeladon is a monster. Body Press does remove the Ogre Pond, but that's fine. I didn't need it anymore, right? Because the Ogre Pond, and I'm sorry, the Kyogre has been chipped. Miraidon comes in, I have Tailwind, okay? I can pressure the Ogre if he has Protect, right? But I want to just Snarl it first, okay? So now the Ogre is now minus one. I want to trap this thing and just remove the Arkeladon. That's my goal. Ice Beam, not doing much anymore from Kyogre. And again, this, these plus three body presses uh, are not going to be doing uh, anything yet because I click protect. So more Snarl, Kyogre now minus two. And I make a small misplay here. I go for Electro Diff into the Arkeladon slot rather than the Kyogre. All right. And I was also wanting to even click Draco into the Arkeladon, but um, I fumbled the bag there a little bit. Okay. But Rocky Helmet comes in clutch. Arkeladon drops anyway. All right. Now it's just Bronzon versus Kyogre. So even though I did done goofed, Okay, um, it's still fine because Kyogre has been neutralized by the Jugulus. I get trick him up, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the Kyogre will drop here, and he has no choice but to forfeit, right? So Iron Jugulus doing a lot of heavy lifting there, um, so you get to see the value out of that. Okay, so this one is with Maridon, Iron Bundle, and Iron Valiant, right? So this one's a little bit more standard. So basically, the whole idea with Iron Bundle is now you're getting freeze dry. Right, which is great into some of the Ogre Ponds. And then, of course, Icy Wind for Speed Control. You don't have Tailwind, but again, um, with the Electric Terrain, now your Iron Bundle is getting a speed boost uh, because, uh, you know, again, we're going to be, like, pretty fast here. But Valiant has to get the Focus Sash here, right? So Va Valiant will get the Sash. Bundle will get a Cover Cloak, okay? So this way I don't have to susceptible... I'm not susceptible to something like Fake Out over here, right? So that might have to be the play here if you want to run both. And then after that, you know, again, close combat, wide guard over here, 
Okay, I in the end I went with something like this. I went with um, Spirit Break, which is pretty good against neutralizing attacks, right? And then Taunt. Okay, because you know a lot of special attackers they don't want to be taking Spirit Breaks. Okay, and a stab 130 Spirit Break is gonna hurt a lot, especially against something like Maridon, you know, into the mirror or like Kyogre, uh, or you know, for example, if they don't have a Cover Cloak, the Terrapicos, right? So I think this is also pretty good here. Um, but then after that, again, just bringing back Incineroar. Bringing back the Ogre Pond Wellspring, okay, and then bringing back uh, the Landers Incarnate, right? This was the, the Magnum Man 6, as I like to say. You know, he went 6-0 in the tournament with this, right? And it makes a lot of sense, right? Because, again, you get this Firewater Grass Core defensive backbone here with Intimidate, Fake Out, Redirection. You get a little bit of Speed Control with Icy Wind. You get, you know, White Guard now. Um, and then you also have Taunt on Iron Valiant, and then Maridon uh, will be your big damage dealer, right? So this one, I went with Choice Specs. Right, because a lot of these options, you know, again, I don't have the Moth this time. Instant Ogre Pond, they don't do as much damage. I do get a Landorus, right? I do get a Landorus, so there's that. Um, but I think Specs with something like, you know, same, similar moveset with Electro, Drift, right? And then Dazzling Gleam, Draco, uh, Meteor, and then Volt Switch, right? Just really, really big damage, especially, you know, against Rillaboom stuff. Um, I did like Fairy on this one as opposed to Grass, but, you know, again, if you want a different Terra, up to you how you want to play it. But with this one, I went Modest, again, 196 investment um, for that 180 benchmark there. And then just about 116, you know, not too much, you know, just a little bit. And then dump more into um, my bulk here. So let's go to 192, you know, just in case Rillaboom Terrain comes out and then give me some defense here. This is pretty good against Chen Pao Ice Spinner. Um, you get a nice, very, very good solid roll. I think it's either the 12.5 roll or the or the 6.3 percent chance roll. One of the two. All right. So then over here, freeze dry icy wind. This also gets encore, right? And then you can go protect here. Now you may consider hydro pump here. I already had the water coverage coming from the um, the ogre pond here. So you know this is more of a, a, a supportive, bulky iron bundle. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Uh, but basically, what I was doing was this. I was gonna go timid here. Just about 60, right? About 180. Same kind of benchmark here as the Maridon. But I went a little bit more. Um, so this way I wouldn't necessarily like speed tie. So I did this, right? So this way my Icy Wind goes first. And then after that, I just put like one point in special attack. Literally, I wanted this thing to be like fat. <laughs> okay, so one point there and even one point in defense. So then after that, I just did about this much, right? 228 and then 204. You know, a decent roll into something like Modest 100 um you know thunderclap coming out from a raging bull but again super bulky super fat meant to just really click freeze dries and icy winds and encores a little bit you know not not crazy damage with hydro pump here so miraidon is going to be doing most of the damage here and then valiant over here again just to go with like a simple jolly 252 set uh so this way i can get the speed boost right 184 182 um so guarantee that instant here intimidate um same set right so in fact, let me just do a little bit of a copy pasta over here right, and just re-import it. So this way I save some time. And then same thing with the Ogre Pond. I, I just like uh, the same set here um, and all things considered, right? All right, so there we go. And then Landris here, um, I just do uh, a simple Life Orb Timid uh, 252, 252 set here. So that's all That's all I'm really going to do. And then along with Substitute, so let me just re-import that over here. Yeah, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Substitute, and then just Protect over here. All right, Terra Steel is my, my preference just because of the Ice Resist. But if you like Terra Poison as well, um, you're more than welcome to do that. So either way, it works. Um, but Substitute's pretty good in the Trick Room games um, if you really want to set up the Landris. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it. This is like another more standard variant, right? Um, and again, shout out to Magnet Man for, for this 6. I thought it was pretty good when he used it. Um, and it's pretty standard. So uh, let's do a little test game and just see how well the Valiant can do here. Okay, so this is Terrapicos over here. So, you know, double fake out pressure, trying to set up Calm Mind. Might even be Cover Cloak here, but uh, Ting Lu, I don't know if I agree with that, but it, I understand it's for Calyrex, but, you know, I don't want to be reducing my own damage here. Um, but Raging Bolt could be annoying, but we'll see. All right, so um, this is something where Valiant can be useful here. So let's go Landers, let's go Incineroar here. Uh, so this way I can intimidate some of his physical options and put pressure on something like Raging Bolt or the Glamour if he does bring it, which he does. So he's forced to switch into Rillaboom here. Smart play, and he protects the Glamour. So good opening turn defensively for him. All right, he goes into Rillaboom here. I go for knockoff. I, I'm able to remove an Ayapapa Berry from Rillaboom. I thought that's a strange item. 
tab on there. So let me go into Valiant here, okay? Because I know Meteor Beam's coming out into instant, so at the very least, I can resist it, and I do get at least one turn um, to reposition myself. So Valiant does live here. You know, again, we had a Sash regardless. Okay, but we're still putting pressure on the Glamour, and he can't really switch that out, right? Because if he does, he's forced to Terra. Um, he spiky shields again. Um, Grassy Light comes out from Rillaboom here, but again, because of the attack reduction, it's not doing as much, right? So, um, from here, very simply, he goes back into Raging Bolt, all right? I go Earth Power to Glamora, so, you know, that just goes down. He doesn't want to tear it. He's saving his Terra for the Terrapicos, I understand. All right, Raging Bolt does take one Flare Blitz. You know, that's fine. So, now he brings in Terrapicos. Okay, there's the Terra Shift, but... Um, is he in position is the question, right? There's the Terra Fairy, right? Uh, is able to live one Earth Power, right? There's the, there's your first Calm Mind, right? But here comes the Snarl, right? So the, the, that's annoying, right? Landers minus one. But here we go. So we're going to Parting Shot. We're going to stop him from boosting his special attack. Let's go back into Maridon. Let's take the, uh, the terrain back, okay? He protects there. That's expected, all right? I just wanted to put pressure in with Electro Drift. Right. But again, Sludge Bomb, not enough. So that's a little unfortunate for me because now uh, my Miraidon is minus one. Thankfully, he missed the Landers. Right. But um, he goes back into Rillaboom. I expect that much. So this way, um, I am able to you know reposition myself. So here's another Volt Switch. Right. This is how you have to use Miraidon against Rillaboom, just like I showed in the other game. Okay. Intimidate, Sludge Bomb, good damage. Right. You know, either way, it was good damage because um, it was Terra Fairy. Right. So now he's back to plus one. Right, plus two spin that, but he's not really steamrolling, right? He's not really attacking. He's trying, but it ain't there. So I get to remove the Rillaboom. Okay, he goes Terra Star form here. He doesn't choose to set up, right? So, um, you know, that's more advantageous for me. So now I can reassume terrain control back with Maraid on here. Raging Bolt is very, very low. Okay, so I just go Terra Fairy here. I wanted to just get that thing off the board and remove its ability. So we get some nice damage there on Terrapagos. Okay, and he does go for Earth Power. It doesn't do a whole lot, all right? It's a non-stab move there. So here's the parting shot, all right? Now all of his boosts are gone. Here comes Valiant, okay? It's basically three on one at this point, right? We've been able to position very, very nicely. And he has no choice but to forfeit. He never got his Calm Minds going. Terrapicos was handled. Okay, now before I show you this uh, third variation, right? I wanted to bring back the team that we did in the previous video, right? This was Hannah Squad. Right, so basically it was Thunderous with Raging Bolt, and the idea here was Manual Electric Terrain, right? And then Raging Bolt gets a nice little boost uh, with Rising Voltage, and then you have the screen stuff with Iron Bundle, you know, with Choice Specs Blizzard, right? This was the this was the synergy with the four, you know, from the previous video, right? And Bundle benefits from Nine Tails, and it benefits from Thunderous, you know, setting Electric Terrain, right? Then you had Ogre Pond Heart Flame, you know, to round out your Fire Water Grass Core. And then King Gambit over here with a steel typing, you know, with your Dragon Fairy Steel idea, right? So I thought it was pretty cool. And I thought, what if we kind of adapt this, you know, with uh, Maridon, right? So instead of like having, you know, two separate Pokemon for a terrain and a Dragon typing, what if we had both in one? So let's take out Thunderous, let's take out Raging Bull, and now let's add Maridon. Okay, so now we've got Maridon screens here with Ninetales, Bundle, Ogre Pond, King Gambit. Right, so we still get our Dragon Fairy Steel Firewater Grass Core. Okay, so that was pretty interesting when I considered it. And then at the time, I was doing stuff with Rillaboom. Okay, you know, for you know, fake out pressure, right? And then you know, trying to set up what I was doing with, which was called Calm Mind Protect and Lefty. So this was Calm Mind Maridon uh, that I was using. But then I was like, you know what, this is pretty okay. You know, not too bad. But in the end, I switched it out. Oh, by the way, this was also like Woodhammer. All right, Ivy Cudgel. So, I'm sorry, not Woodhammer. This was Grassy Glide uh, when I had Rillaboom, right? When I was testing it. And then I said, you know what? Incin's kind of broken. So, I decided to try Incin. And it was much better in terms of, like, giving myself positioning, right? So, then after that, I went Intimidate, right? The, the same Incineroar stuff. The only difference now is instead of Grassy Glide, I went with Woodhammer. And then I went with, like, a, a Swords Dance variant, right? So, I could do something like this, right? I still went with the Bulky Redirector would, would follow me. Right, but I, you know, you, you can do that too, right? And then King Gambit uh, would get something like the Assault Vest over here. Uh, so this way, you know, you get a, a nice bulky Gambit in the in the grand scheme of things. Otherwise, uh, this can get the Black Glasses Swords Dance set on the King Gambit, right? If you don't want to do that. But um, that's what I was doing at the time, right? So here we go, Maridon over here, uh, Choice Specs variant and all. I still went with Grass Terra um, on this particular build. I still went with Electro Drift. 
Okay, I still went with Draco. Okay, and then Nine Tails here, you know, with the uh, light clay set, you know, same idea, Terra Ghost, uh, and then you know, just Moonblast, Aurora Veil, Encore on on the Nine Tails, and then Protect, right? So you know, because this is getting the icy wind, right? Freeze dry, icy wind. Um, I, I I screwed up over here. Uh, Aurora Veil, that's what I wanted, not Aurora Beam. Okay, Terra Ghost and all. So basically, with this Nine Tails, I just went like, you know, max speed here, all right, and then you know, just a little bit of defense, just to get it to a hundred value over there, and then just dump the rest uh, into um, basically my my HP here, right? Just something like this, right? Very bulky Nine Tails. Right on over here, same idea. Again, that modest 196 benchmark here was was what I was looking for. And then just be like, I wanted to just get it to something like this, right? Where, you know, you can go over here, but more or less the same idea as Raging Bolt. You know, just get it to that 188 mark. And I thought this was okay. And then from here, you know, just get it to 192 here. You know, the lefties and then 52 defense. That was really all I wanted out of out of Maridon here. You know, these these HP benchmark numbers and then as well as the, the Calm Mind idea, right? And nice even numbers all around. Right. Then the nine tails we did already. Iron bundle over here. Uh, so you can do this, right? Freeze dry, I icy wind, blizzard, and hydro pump. I was doing the spec stuff. Um, you can also put protect and then just put a focus sash here, right? Because now you can do this as well, which is what I was doing in the end, right? So freeze dry, icy wind, um, hydro pump, okay, and then uh, just straight blizzard. I'm sorry, protect. So I gave up the blizzard idea, right? I felt like that was more like you know best of one close team sheet. So I just want a little bit more consistency. So I went with Focus Sash and Hydro Pump here. Ironic, I say consistency, you know, because Hydro Pump can miss. Um, but this one, I just went straight uh, Timid 252, right? Just straight like this, right? You know, very, very simple. Ogre Pond here, um, Spiky Shield, okay? Um, you know, just a bulky physical attacker, right? So 252 HP. I went with the second bump here, okay? Oh, I took it off. And then again, same idea, like 139 uh, was what I was doing. And one point here and just a little bit of defense, right? Somewhat bulky, right? And still doing decent damage behind screens, right? King Gambit. Um, so, you know, again, Assault Vest is totally fine. Or you can do like, you know, Swords Dance with Protect uh, and then uh, Black Glasses. Or you can do the Assault Vest set. Either way, I think it's okay. Um, but I still went with Iron... Wait... Uh, Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, um, Swords Dance Protect, okay? And then I also went Terra Fairy over here, right? So still okay. Um, but again, if you want the Assault Vest set, I would do something like this, where you had Assault Vest. Now you can put Iron Head over here, okay? And then you could do Terra Blast, uh, Terra Fairy here, right? But either way, I just went Adamant. I went pretty much max attack here, right? And then just one point in the speed and bulk. Okay, and then just put about 36 investment, right? Something like this. Just get a nice even number there. Um, Incineroar, um, again, I'm just going to do a little copy pasta, right? It's just uh, the same thing uh, with the Incin that I like to do, more or less, right? So it makes my time a little bit more easier. So you can definitely do something like this, right? But, you know, only Maridon's your, your, your setup on here. So you still get Intimidate. You still get a Redirector here. Um, and then over here... You know, it's an Assault Vest King Gambit. You can put Swords Dance if you want. Um, you know, that still needs a little bit more testing. But at least when I was doing this, it was still, like, totally fine. Right? So, Ghost uh, Bundle here. We can go Ghost as well here. Um, it's still fine. Fire, Fairy, and, and Ghost. Right? So, this is the the third um, idea that, it ha that I had. Right? So, Nine Tails Screens uh, with Iron Bundle. And then this is Call Mine uh, Maridon over here. All right, so again, uh, just to look at the pace one more time. So this is our, our Life Orb Maridon with Jugulus Iron Moth idea. So again, you have your defensive backbone with Instant Ogre Pond and even Bronze Off for Trickum stuff. You've got Tailwind over here, uh, Snarl Pressure, right? And then Maridon with a Life Orb over here. So uh, by the way, I did adjust the, the Iron Moth EVs again. Um, I put it back to Special Attack. I, th I think that the, the damage bonus... Uh, is too good to not have and then uh, of course you're still getting tailwind over here so i still settled with that um and then after that it's just relatively standard then over here um this was the the calm mind idea that i had with uh maridon you know with just behind screens along with iron bundle support uh you know clicking icy wind and then the 
the encore ideas as well, you know, from Ninetales. Well-timed encores are very punishing, by the way. Um, then, after that, it's Insin, Ogre Pawn, Heart Flame over here. Again, give me that Fire, Water, Grass Core here, along with Intimidate and Fake Out. So this way, I can also set up Calm Minds behind screens and also Fake Out Pressure, you know, where you can literally lead Insin, Ninetales, you know, Aurora Veil, Parting Shot into something like either Maridon or Iron Bundle, for example. And then King Gambit over here, um, also pretty solid into some Trick Room matchups. Uh, you know, again, and also Iron Head Pressure into Fluttermane is also very, very good. So uh, this might need to be explored a little bit more, but it was a cool idea. Um, and I it was working a little bit when I was testing it. This one is the a little bit more standard idea. This is the Magna Man 6, right? This is the Bundle Valiant idea, you know, where the Sash goes on the Valiant and the Iron Bundle has to go Cobra Cloak here. Uh, and again, feel free to adjust these EVs as you as you may. I, I still wanted like some bulk on my bundle because I wasn't Sash, right? And I think that's the way to go about it, okay? And then, of course, this is Specs Maridon. This is your big damage dealer, right? And then from here, you still have your defensive backbow with Instant Ogre Pond Wellspring. And then, of course, Substitute Landers uh, rounds it out. And it's pretty good into the mirror matchup as well, all right? So let me know what you think of our Maridon teams. And again, if you're trying to... Uh, build your own regulation G team and you need some help feel free to sign up for tier 3 coaching on the channel If you look at the video description below as the pin as well as the pinned comment uh, We do have a link there where you can join the channel with tier 3 sign up for a team building session It gets you a one-on-one -on -one discord call with me uh, and then from there we can build you a squad just like this uh, So this way we can get the testing so this way when the regulation G format actually starts uh, You know we can make adjustments as we go and you can get um, some good play out of the squad and enter some tournaments or whatnot. All right, but that's going to do it for now, folks. We'll be back with another video in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.